um, we have often referred to what we were, um, what we call the art of the hissy fit, and it's basically we define it as the we define that word as the um, Republicans using as the Republicans using faux outrage to get the media to press the Democrats to disavow or apologize for something that they were perfectly entitled to say or do. Now, most often it's something extremely mild compared to what Republicans say and do on a daily basis. Now, one example of this play to work, um, the reps from the past was the GOP's flamboyant um, pearl clutching over the Democrats' behavior at the funeral of a former progressive senator, Paul Wellstone of Minnesota, who, and he, um, if you don't know who he is, he, de- he was a senator, like I said, from Minnesota, and he died in a plane crash during the 2002 um, election season. Now, Democrats held a memorial service celebration of life in which people um, um, eulogized Wellstone, and they also rallied for his political cause as he would have wanted. But with some stem winding, with some stem stem winding political speeches, um, the Republicans went nuts, um, cynically decrying the event as being disrespectful and calling for the Democrats to apologize over the alleged insult to real American values, which they did, which the Democrats apologized. Now it was a crock, obviously, but those who would have been around long enough to remember that event will recall that the pundits went crazy. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Basically, um, so these pundits went crazy, and they demanded that the Democrats answer for the outrage, while the Republicans sniggered their sniggered behind their backs. Now, it was a minor incident, though, but it illustrates the ongoing tactic of the right wing, which has been on display again, um, again for the past few days after Joe Biden described the maggot Republicans as fascists. Which technically the maggot Republicans are fascists, so the hand wringing and the and the and the rending of garments by Donald Trump's minions has been a sight to behold. Uh, <coughs> so the so-called GOP moderate New um, New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu had um had called for Biden to apologize, as did the House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy in a pre bubble speech on Thursday, which he said, and this is what the idiot and this is what the idiot um. Kevin McCarthy had said on Thursday. In the past two years, Joe Biden has launched an assault on the soul of America, on its people, on its laws, and its most sacred values. He has launched an assault on democracy, and technically, Kevin McCarthy is describing what Trump did. Um, and, he's, and he goes on to say, President Biden has chosen to divide, demean, and disparage his fellow Americans. That's what Trump did. And why? Simply because, he di- because, um, because they disagree with his policies. And this is not leadership. Yeah, when Trump squatted in the White House, that wasn't leadership. Now it's enough to make now it's enough to make you fucking dizzy, isn't it? But here we have evidence of Republicans routinely calling Democrats fascists and communists and even pedophiles when you find those people in the Republican Party. And yet they are once again having a hissy fit over Biden using the same word to describe them as if he's the one behind the pale. Now meanwhile, this week, their le- their, um, um, meanwhile, the Republicans of Satanists, um, Donald Trump, demanded to be reinstated as squatter, and he went on a podcast Thursday morning to declare that he's financially supporting the January 6th Klan insurrectionists with plans, to par- with plans to pardon all of them and have the government offer them apologies if he becomes squatter again. I don't know if that's fascist, but it certainly is fucking demented. Now, normally, the Democrats immediately fall over themselves, fall all over themselves, backtracking and apologizing in the situations, but they have been remarkably stalwart this time. Now, in fact, on, on Thursday night, President, Be- President Biden gave, a, gave an inspiring speech in Philadelphia, expanding his judgment of the maggot movement's turn toward fascism, although he did not use the word, and he was uns- and, and he was unsparing in his description of what a toxic, dangerous movement it has become. Now, um, now for a long time, we reassured ourselves that American democracy is guaranteed, but it is not. We have to defend it protect it, and stand up for it, each and every one of us. Maggot Republicans do not respect the Constitution. They never did. They do not believe in the rule of law, which they never followed. They do not recognize the will of, of the, the will of the people, and they refuse to accept the results of a free and fair election, which they lost. Now, Biden said correctly that they see, their maggot, that they see the maggot failure um, to, see, to stop a peaceful transfer of power, and, the, and, they're using it as, and they're using this as a preparation for the 2022 uh, midterms in the 2024 election. Quoting conservative former federal judge um, Michael Lutwig, um, Luttig, and he noted that they are working in state after state to get power to decide elections in America, and it's too partisan and crony. It's um, too partisan and crony. Um, empowering election deniers to undermine democracy itself 
and he and he and he rightly pointed out that they promote authoritarian leaders and that fan the flames of political violence that they are a threat to our personal rights to the pursuit of justice and to the rule of law and to the very soul of this fucking country. He made a distinction between these maggot Republicans and mainstream Republicans, suggesting that the latter were to, um, to, whom he was, to whom he was addressing this speech. I'm not sure the difference is as obvious as he would like to think, however. Now, mainstream, mainstream Republicans who were still back in the party after January 6th and the leadership's ongoing endorsement of Trump, despite his obvious unfitness, probably, um, probably aren't going to be persuaded, but it needs to be said anyway. As Biden put it, too much of what's happening in the country today is not normal, and it's important to keep reminding people of this. It's still hard to believe that a president of the United States is compelled to give such a speech, but here we are. Biden stood at Independence Hall and warned that we have a powerful fascist movement in this country, and he exhorted the American people to fight back. Now, journalists, meanwhile, were hand-wringing over this. Um, and why am I not fucking surprised? Here we had a serious speech warning about a world threat to democracy, and the press decided that the optics of the Marines standing behind um, President Biden was an equally important issue that needed airing. As usual, the Democrats are held to be are held to be in a different standard, as if this tri uh, tri um, triviality is the equivalent of Trump holding the Republican convention at the White House, or bringing down, um, or bringing a bunch of um, military gear into the Washington Mall for his tacky Fourth of July celebration. Now you see, Biden pledged to do better, so really it's even fucking worse. Now here's an example of the respectful tone by the re by the fake Republican leadership in the wake of this speech. Um, somebody, um, somebody put this up. The, Im the imagery was almost satanic with that blood, with that blood red lighting and the two Marines. Um, basically, Trader Green said that they chose this imagery. It's unreal. Um, she c compared Biden to Hitler, which is what Trump was. Um, now, satanic Hitler and Nazi, that's all fine. But just don't call it semi-fascist. That would be fucking wrong and very r fucking wrong indeed. Now, having those Marines standing there was a dangerous threat to all we hold dear, so I'm sure they'll be calling for a balance of apologize for that, too, and some things never fucking change. So if you like the video, you can give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, RBW King. You can hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when a new video comes out, and if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the about section of YouTube, but for just a little, it's a few bucks a month. Um, your donation can help go a long way, and thanks for listening.